Welcome to Flying Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna be firing up over here at Disneyland. Let's do this. We're back at Disneyland and ready to have some fun, get some updates, maybe get on some rides. The weather's been great, thankfully. It's been rainy and windy lately, but today's a good day. This is the second time, second time I brought it and it's closed. <laughs> I just want to use this. I just want to use it. I just want to go bling. <laughs> Today we're going to be starting off at DCA, but we are going to make our way back to Disneyland. I want to just cover both parts today. I haven't been in Avenger Vault in a while. Let's check it out. This is a new shirt. I've never seen this one at Avenger Campus. 30 bucks. This new gauntlet has arrived. I have no clue where this came from. I know where this one came from, but this one, uh, is it from a certain comic, a movie? Is this MCU related? <laughs> is this involving the new ride? You know, that's one thing that I think about too. Because King Thanos is going to be involved in whatever e-ticket ride comes to Avenger Campus. I'm curious as if this is like foreshadowing, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, some uh, green fences have gone up right here. Right outside the Avenger Vault. What is going on? You know, D23 is around the corner. Those tickets are going to go for a show tomorrow for the event. Maybe things are heating up for uh, Avenger e-ticket ride. It's all supposed to be behind there. <laughs> Let's check out web suppliers. I haven't been in here in a minute too. I feel like the conversation with attachments has gone down tremendously. Does anybody bring their attachments still to do web slingers? I don't know. I'm always on the lookout for anything new Spider-Man. This is like a heavy, like a heavy plush. <laughs> it's very heavy. How much is it being sold for? 45 bucks. Miles Morales, Spidey Gwen. Got a hat with all of them. Is this a sign? Maybe things are changing out here. You never know. We need Miles Morales big time though. Look at this. I just bought one of these. I was Star Wars, but this one's cool. I just noticed it's a reversible bucket hat. That's cool. This one, 30 bucks. Check this out. Ghost Spider. Spider Bot. Wow. We've had the Spider-Man glasses for a while, but they've created a different iteration of it now. Look at that. I wonder if it does the same eye light ups as uh, like this one, or is it like different formation, but they got a Miles Morales one too. I feel like nobody's talked about this. This is like a big deal. Just seeing this kind of merch uh, in Avenger Campus it's exciting. We need all three of these characters in the campus. Come on, Disney. You're on fire. Keep keep it up. Keep it up. This is amazing. Very cool. Oh my gosh. I was thinking of doing Soren. The line's out here. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I'm getting the vibe that California Adventure is just extremely crowded. I had a chance to walk over by Mission Breakout and the lightning lane for that was going to like Avenger headquarters. Like it was outside its normal queue of lightning lane. And then just got to see what Soren's looking like. I think we're going to park up to Disneyland. But before I do that, we keep hearing rumor and rumor of stuff that's set to go down in Hollywoodland. More specifically, that stage 17 area and beyond. Uh, just today, we saw Joe Rohde go to Disney Imagineering. Uh, and I guess did some type of workshops and stuff like that to kind of help and, and, and guide the Imagineers of the future, you know what I mean? But it's just cool to see Joe Rohde come back with Disney on property and uh, just share his insights and vision of where things can go in regards to storytelling and Disney. Uh, we all know Avengers, or uh, Avengers, Avatar, Avatar Experience, Avatar Land is coming to Disneyland Resort but they've never really given us the insight. Is it coming to Disneyland, Disneyland Forward, DCA? DCA seems to be like the big one that 
has been rumored a lot. Uh, and if it ever does come to DCA, where could it possibly go? Because Avatar is huge. Are they trying to go with Pandora? Uh, are they trying to go with Way of the Water, which was extremely successful, the movie that just came out, part two? Uh, I hope they go with part two. It would be really cool to see something different than what they already have in Florida. And uh, we've had the remarks already too from the Disney company that it's supposed to be as grand as something in Florida uh, and add capacity, which are all good things. We, we love to hear that as theme park enthusiasts. So if it comes to Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, uh, it really sounds like Hollywood land. That's what I keep hearing. I don't know where the heck they're going to fit it, uh, but we'll see, we'll see how things play out. D23 is not that far off in the distance, and I keep hearing that it's going to be a, a, a big, exciting, grand D23 when it comes to the parks, resorts, and experiences panel. Any of the panels, honestly. D23 is just said to be big this year uh, since they're involving the Honda Center, which is crazy. So good luck to everybody trying to get a ticket to D23. I hope you get the ones that you want. And uh, we'll definitely be there covering the Parks and Experiences panel in person. I'm going to be there in person. I'm not going to sit that one out. I want to feel that excitement when whatever the heck gets announced uh, in live. You know what I mean? All right, let's park off to Disney and check out Tiana's and uh, Haunted Mansion, see what that's looking like, and just go ride some rides, hopefully. New Year's arrived with the Tres Amigos. I don't know if these have dropped like ever in Epcot. Look at that. But they're here at Disneyland now, so why not? Getting ready for that season of the force. I thought these were frogs at first, but it looks like butterflies. <laughs> Lots of New Year's. I'm surprised I didn't see these in Avenger Campus. But they're over here at the Emporium Disneyland side. The A in the middle, it's pretty cool. This has just arrived today too. Wow, talk about cute. I don't know if this is for Pixar Fest, but just in general, one of the coolest lounge flies I've ever seen. Now that we're in spring, we're starting to see the flowers looking so colorful and beautiful. And the trees over here at the Walt statue coming alive too. Since the Mark Twain just docked, might as well get on. They're about to load. This is what it's looking like with those spring break crowds. 50 minutes for pirates. No way. Today is a Monday. <laughs> the queue goes out there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Don't forget, May 1st, Critter Country will all be closing. Who knows for how long, but it's all going to be closing. All right, we're going to get a really good look at Tiana's. And Generation to generation, you 
So it's still looking like a dirt field, but I can confirm now, visually seeing it, uh, that graveyard that was like a pet cemetery, it is gone in the queue over there at Haunted Mansion. That kind of sucks. I didn't know that was leaving. That was That's news to me. Um, what we see at Tiana's, they are really working on the greenery all around the Salt Dome. And uh, over there in Florida today, they actually put some music to their rhyme and the testing that they were doing. So things are really, really heating up at Tiana's uh, Florida. Hopefully we get some dates. We need dates for either Florida's or Disneyland. When is it gonna open? Also too, shout out to the people on Twitter. They were saying that it looks like that greenery fence that went up uh, is actually in the concept art that they released not too long ago. So maybe things are heating up with the Avenger e-ticket ride. <laughs> Before I get out of here, I had to get a treat for the family. Just wanted to showcase all the stuff they got for uh, Easter time. And then they got these apples too. That is all for today's trip over here at Disneyland Resort. Things are really starting to heat up with D23 around the corner. Tiana's Bayou Adventure opening up sometime soon. I'm just very excited. Pixar Fest, Fantasmic, Season of the Force, a lot coming to Disneyland Resort. So if any of that interests you, please subscribe. Smash that like button. We're firing it down.